Hi everybody, this is Dino V. How are you? This is a very, very quick review of the most gut-wrenching, heart-rendering, soul-breaking, inspiring, beautiful video I've ever seen. Still in shock. What an amazing 24 hours. I am talking about the official new video for the Beatles' new single. Now and then... If you haven't seen it, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions. Um, some people just don't get it, and there's some of it it means more than the world to. To watch them together in the video, young and old, interspersed, to see <sighs> two Pauls at the same time, or two John, two Georges, two Ringos, two Ringos drumming. What a clever mix. Remember people, AI, everyone talks about flaming AI. If you don't like AI, don't watch the flaming video and shut up moaning about AI. I do get sick of people going on about AI at the moment, that is. When it's used in the video and creatively like this, no words can explain or justify just how brilliant that is. Mixing the past with the present, the future, seeing unseen footage, seeing it all cleared up. Beautiful, beautiful work. Thank you so much. Peter R. Jackson. That's that's not Pete Jackson that does the um, McCartney songbook. That's Peter R. Jackson, the film director. What work have you done? What a love. What a work of art. What a labour. Absolutely incredible. It enhances the song even more. And to see all those clips and quite a bit of unseen footage. Now, I've seen a lot, like I'm sure you lot have, but there was stuff in there just like... Ah. I've never had so many jaw... Dropping moments watching something. Do you know what? Since free as a bird to tell the truth. I think this is better. I do think this is better. It is beautiful. Very emotional. You just can't stop watching it. And it brings them all to life and reunites them again together. And sometimes when you're watching it, you forget two of them are no longer around. And then there's other bits in the video saying, oh, if only they were alive. But that can be the same thing at the same time. So uh, what are your thoughts on the video? Watch it and watch it again and watch it again. And pause it and rewind, fast forward. Watch it till the cows come home. And um, it's just stunning. It's just stunning. All that stuff from the hello, goodbye video inter interspersed with Paul in uh, Hog Hill Mill studio. And you can see, there's one thing I'll say, you can see that Ringo and Paul weren't together when it was filmed. Well, I don't think so anyway, but it's just incredible. What an emotional video. If it's emotional for us, ladies and gents and everyone else around the world, what is it like for Paul and Ringo going through that and watching it? Because there's two of them no longer with us, but they're brought back to life. It's a deep in people's psyche and heart of what they mean to so many people. It was way back then and it went all through and here we are say 60 years on and it still means as much if not more to new generations all the time. Now and then there's an incredible song. It's actually getting better and better. I heard it today actually for the first time on the radio because I was in Liverpool. I didn't get to hear it on the radio. So to hear it on the radio and then the DJ saying that's the Beatles new single which just sends shockwaves through your body. And what I did find interesting about the Now and Then single I've got a few, I've got it on black vinyl, blah, blah, blah. You may remember what John Lennon said. John Lennon said many things because he never kept his mouth quiet. Obviously, the Beatles became massive in 63 and just got bigger and bigger. But he always said something like, uh, we, um, it wasn't Liverpool that made us, it wasn't the world, we were made in Germany. Now, I don't know if anyone else has picked that up, but these vinyls were made in Germany, which is where John Lennon always said, that's where the Beatles developed. Playing all those long nights in Hamburg at the Kaiser Keller, the Indra, the Star Club, the Beatles were made in Germany. So I even think that is quite cute. What do you think? Am I just reading too much into it? No, I think it's a beautiful fitting ending. <clears throat> Very emotional. My, my throat keeps going and I can't get the tune out of my head. What words can you use to describe this? As Beatle fans, we are very, very lucky in 2023 to have this. 
God bless you all. God rest your souls. And thank you, John Paul, George, Ringo, and all the other people who were involved throughout their life, from when they were born, when they were growing up, through their success, and even now. The world is indebted to you for your music grace. And now and then it's just... What can I say? Goodbye from Dino V. Mm -hmm.